I got an email from a YouTuber that said he has his father's triplet meter and would like to get it working again. And what it needs is um, batteries. And I have one. And I've been meaning to do something with it. Here's the top. That's, I think, about the only damage to the cases right there at the top. Here's a look at the inside. It's still very clean. And there's the back of the meter from the inside. And here's the problem. That 30 volt battery. He also said in his email that he heard that uh, you could use three uh, 9 volt batteries. And I've done that many times using 9 volt batteries to make uh, like B plus for a portable radio 90 volts. So we should be able to do that here. This is what the holder for that battery looks like. Now, the negative is on top, which is the blue wire, and the yellow is positive. And this is the other side. This is the one and a half volt battery. It's a D cell. But this time, the positive is on top, which is the blue wire, and the yellow is negative. Okay, I'm going to go get some batteries and some alligator clips, and we'll see what this thing will do. The only thing I've done to it so far is I put a few drops of WD-40 on the little variable resistor here. And uh, what that does is these things dry out and don't make contact. Uh, the WD-40 puts the petroleum back into it. And if you're wondering about that, I did this volume control. Uh, it's approaching 20 years ago. Let me turn that down. Turn this on. Still works. You almost use this radio every day. Okay, I've got the batteries hooked up. I've got three 9 volt batteries hooked up to right here. And I've got the 1.5 volt battery plugged in. So, let's see here, move this down to ohms, okay, what I found on this one scale is I'm going to do some cleaning on this battery. There we go. It's not the control here. Also, I've got a, I think, a loose connection here, too. Yep. Let's see here. I'll clean that later. But anyway, the you can see that the control works. But on the other scales, that uses these and they all adjust. So, looks like we got a nice good meter here. So now, I need to do a little more cleaning. And then I'll figure out how to get the batteries 
in the box. We'll take pictures of it. Here's a shot of both battery holders from the top, the D cells on the left and the 30 volt batteries on the right. And from the video, it looks like three 9 volt batteries is going to work fine. So here I'm soldering up alligator leads to the batteries. This is the negative side and this is the positive side and this is the end result here. All I did was just pop the batteries together. Works really nice that way. Here have I, I have installed the D cell and I decided to tape up the three 9 volt batteries and here is how I'm going to install the batteries for the 30 volt supply. I bought a small sponge and I cut it in half and I have that between the meter and the battery and I did some testing and the other half of the sponge I, I can put on top of the battery and I close the lid and it's just a little snug so the battery won't uh, float around and I close the case and we're ready for testing. I've got this on the one scale and it goes all the way over and of course I'll be able to adjust it. Okay, looks good. So what I need to do now is clean this thing up and we'll have another meter to use. Thanks for watching.